Welcome to today's lecture on abdominal auscultation techniques. In this lecture, we will cover the basics of mastering abdominal auscultation, interpreting bowel sounds, locating key listening points, and differentiating normal sounds from abnormalities. Let's get started. Abdominal auscultation is a fundamental skill that all healthcare professionals should possess. It involves listening to the sounds produced by various abdominal organs and structures using a stethoscope. Understanding the correct techniques is crucial for obtaining accurate diagnostic information. We will discuss the appropriate positioning of the patient, the optimal stethoscope placement, and the importance of patient relaxation during auscultation. Additionally, we will explore the different types of sounds that can be heard during abdominal auscultation and their significance in clinical practice. In this section, we will explore the complex nature of interpreting bowel sounds, discussing their characteristics, abnormalities, and correlation with gastrointestinal conditions. By the end, you will be equipped to decode the language of abdominal auscultation effectively. Accurate diagnosis through abdominal auscultation relies on identifying and auscultating specific areas of the abdomen. In this topic, we will meticulously describe the anatomical landmarks and auscultatory areas, including the epigastric, umbilical, and hypogastric regions. We will also discuss the significance of auscultatory findings in these specific areas and their association with underlying pathologies. By mastering the skill of locating key listening points, you will enhance your diagnostic accuracy and competency in abdominal auscultation. Learn how to interpret the pitch, frequency, and intensity of abdominal sounds to gain insights into the underlying pathology. Discover how gas movement, bowel motility, and blood flow affect these characteristics, and understand their significance in diagnosing abdominal conditions. Uncover the secrets of abdominal auscultation. Abdominal brutes are abnormal vascular sounds that can indicate underlying vascular abnormalities. However, differentiating normal vascular sounds from pathological brutes can be challenging. In this topic, we will explore the different types of brutes heard during abdominal auscultation and their association with conditions such as renal artery stenosis, aortic aneurysm, and mesenteric ischemia. We will discuss the appropriate techniques for auscultating these sounds and the clinical implications of identifying vascular abnormalities through abdominal auscultation. Borborygmy refers to the rumbling or gurgling sounds produced by the movement of gas and fluid through the intestines. While borborygmy is a normal physiological phenomenon, excessive or abnormal borborygmy can be indicative of underlying gastrointestinal disorders. In this topic, we will explore the causes of borborygmy, including increased peristalsis, intestinal obstruction, and certain medications. We will also discuss the significance of differentiating normal borborygmy from abnormal sounds to aid in the diagnosis of gastrointestinal conditions. Silent bowel sounds, also known as absent bowel sounds, can be a red flag for significant pathology. In this topic, we will delve into the mechanisms behind silent bowel sounds, including intestinal ileus, paralytic ileus, and mesenteric ischemia. We will explore the clinical implications of detecting silent bowel sounds during auscultation and discuss the appropriate diagnostic steps to take when faced with this alarming finding. By understanding the complexities of silent bowel sounds, you will be prepared to respond appropriately in clinical settings. Abnormal bowel sounds can often be accompanied by additional signs and symptoms that indicate peritoneal irritation or inflammation. In this topic, we will discuss the various peritoneal signs, including rebound tenderness, guarding, and rigidity. We will explore the relationship between abnormal bowel sounds and peritoneal signs, emphasizing their importance in diagnosing conditions such as appendicitis, peritonitis, and gastrointestinal perforation. By deciphering the clues in abnormal bowel sounds, you will gain a deeper understanding of peritoneal pathology. Fecal splashing, although rare, can occasionally be heard during abdominal auscultation. This acoustic phenomenon occurs when gas bubbles pass through liquid stool in the colon, resulting in distinct splashing sounds. In this topic, we will explore the underlying causes of fecal splashing, including diarrhea, ileus, and liquid stool accumulation. We will also discuss the diagnostic implications of identifying fecal splashing during auscultation and its association with specific gastrointestinal conditions. By recognizing this rare phenomenon, you will broaden your diagnostic repertoire in abdominal auscultation. In this section, we will discuss how to identify altered bowel sounds associated with gastrointestinal obstruction. Early detection of these changes through auscultation is crucial for timely intervention and improved patient outcomes. Topics covered include high-pitched tinkling sounds, absent bowel sounds, and prolonged rushes. Abdominal auscultation can also provide valuable information about hepatosplenic pathology. In this topic, we will discuss the specific auscultatory findings associated with liver and spleen abnormalities, including hepatic brutes and friction rubs. 
We will explore the pathophysiology behind these sounds and their correlation with conditions such as liver cirrhosis, hepatocellular carcinoma, and splenic infarction. By mastering the art of liver and spleen auscultation, you will enhance your diagnostic skills in hepatosplenic pathology. The final topic of our comprehensive review focuses on the clinical correlations between auscultatory findings and disease entities. We will delve into specific case studies and clinical scenarios, emphasizing the importance of integrating auscultatory findings into the diagnostic process. By merging the knowledge gained throughout this lecture, you will be able to make accurate diagnoses and provide optimal patient care. In conclusion, abdominal auscultation is an important diagnostic tool that helps identify abdominal pathologies. By mastering techniques and interpreting bowel sounds, healthcare professionals can accurately diagnose abdominal conditions. Continued practice and exposure to clinical scenarios refine auscultation skills. Thank you and good luck in your medical practice.